What's up guys, my name is Fusions and today I'm going to show you how to play Bakugan TCG. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I've already made a how to play Bakugan basic game tutorial. So if you have not checked that out, make sure you go back, check that out first, then come back to this one because this is the Bakugan TCG and it's a little bit more complicated since you're dealing with trading cards. All right, so the first thing you need to play the Bakugan TCG, you're going to need three Bakugan like these and then you're gonna need their character cards these these always come with their Bakugan when you buy them so you're gonna need those and then you're also gonna need their Baku cores each Bakugan on the top right corner has the Baku cores that this Bakugan needs so for instance this Hydras needs a helix and a green fist this Trox needs a magic shield and a green fist and this dragonoid needs a flaming fist and a shield so let's get those buckle cores out also you can use any green fist and any helix for hydras you do not have to use the buckle cores that hydras came with so you can just switch them up make them uh, better get better ones or you know pick whatever you want okay so now that we have the bakugan the character cards and their Baku cores. Now you need a 40 card deck, which I'm gonna show you now. So this deck is gonna consist of 40 cards and there there's many different types of cards. There is five different types, not including the character cards. So here we have the first type, which is an action card. This is very simple. One energy, you pay one energy and it will give you plus 300 B power. This is a Baku Gear card, as you can see. You will pay three energy and it will give you plus 400 B. This one will stay for the rest of the game unless it is destroyed somehow. And this will go under a character card like this. Like that. That way you're able to see the, the stats of the character card plus whatever the Baku Gear gives you. There's also cards like this one, which are heroes. This, you will only have to pay three energy to play this card. And then this will stay on the field for the rest of the game. And you can activate it depending on the requirements of the card. So every time you open a Bakugan, you may draw a card from this. And it will stay for the rest of the game unless it's destroyed. Just like the Baku gear. And you can have as many heroes as you want on the field. And then we have flip cards. These will only be used when you're taking damage. So you cannot play these from your hand. I will explain a little bit more later in the video. And then we also have evos. You can tell it's an evo. And then this is who it evos from. So this is Dragonoid Ultra. And I do happen to play Dragonoid Ultra. So you will pay to evil Dragonoid Ultra. You would pay six energy. And then if you pay the six energy, this card will go on top of the character card. And now it has new stats. You will not look at the old stats anymore. Now this is the new Dragonoid Ultra Maximus. So that's how you play the Evos. Okay, so now that you know all the different types of cards that you can put on your deck, you can only have uh, the same faction cards as the same faction Bakugan that you have. So in this case, I'm playing Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus. So I can only put Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus cards in my deck. As you can see, that's what I have. Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus. I cannot put any Darkest cards, any Ventus cards, no other factions except for the Bakugan factions that you're playing. So if I was playing three Aquos Bakugan, then I can only play Aquos cards. That's how it works. And your deck will always be 40 cards. Okay, so now you have everything you need to play the Bakugan TCG. Yes, it may seem like a lot, but you can always get one of these starter sets. These always include everything you need to play the Bakugan TCG. You have the three Bakugan, the Baku cores, the character cards, and the 40 card deck. So these are a good way to start playing the Bakugan TCG. I suggest you buy one of these if you are barely starting to get into Bakugan. Later on, you can upgrade it by buying booster packs, other Bakugan, getting more cards, more Bakugan. So this is a good way to start. Okay, now let's begin. Let's set up. So first off, you're going to put your character cards to the side, like somewhere around here. You're going to put the Bakugans 
on top of their own character cards. You're gonna shuffle your deck, of course, shuffle it very good, put it to the side, and now you're gonna grab your Baku cores, and your opponent is gonna do the same. And now you're gonna choose who's gonna go first. Because right now, you're gonna be putting the hide matrix, which which is where all the Baku cores are gonna be. So let's say I go first, I will put a Baku core first, which will go right in the middle between both of you. Then your opponent will put one as well. Then you go again. And then you keep doing this until you run out of Baku cores to put down. So now that the hide matrix is set up, you get to draw five cards. Three, four, five. And now the first turn will begin once both of you, you, you and the opponent draw one card. The turns are taken at the same time. So once you both draw, the first turn will begin. And this is called the draw slash energy phase. So now you look at your cards and the first thing you're gonna do in the energy phase is energize a card. So what that means is that you're gonna put one of, the, one of your cards face down like this and that will become an energy and you can no longer use this card as an action card or as anything else except an energy for the rest of the game. So when you're putting energies down, it's recommended that you put flip cards as energies since you will not be able to use them from your hand anyway. So you can put this and now you have one energy. You can also play cards before the energy phase ends, but that's only if you really want to. Maybe you can play some hero cards because this will be very good if you play it before you roll since the ability will activate once you open a Bakugan. So hero cards are pretty good to play in the energy phase, but most of the time you don't really want to play any cards. All right, so now that both of you have put an energy down, now it's time to roll your Bakugan. You will be picking one of your Bakugan. Let's say I pick Dragonoid, and then my opponent will pick their Bakugan. Let's just put Trox as their Bakugan. Okay, so now you're gonna have to roll. So first you gotta measure the distance from where you, you're supposed to roll. So from the closest Baku court from, from the height matrix to you, you will have to measure two card spaces away. So this will be like this. That's two card spaces away. And then you have to roll from right here, from this, this far. Now that you're both ready to roll, you will count three, two, one, brawl. Then you will both be rolling your Bakugan onto the height matrix. And it, there's three different scenarios that can happen once you roll. Okay, so the first scenario is if you both roll and you both miss the hide matrix or you do not open your Bakugan, then you both just have to re-roll. The second scenario is, let's say one of you opened up and the other one missed, then that the person that opened up their Bakugan automatically wins the battle and you skip the battle phase, which I'm going to show you now. So the third scenario is you both open up just like these two opened up right here. So now you're going to have to go onto the battle phase. This is where you compare B power. So you will be checking your character cards like Dragonoid. He has 900 B power. And then you will be adding up any bonuses from the core that the Bakugan, in this case Dragonoid, picked up. He picked up a plus 500 B. So he is in a total of 1400 B power. And then we have Trox, which is your opponent. He is at 800 from a character card, plus 250 B power. So he is at 1050 B power. So at this moment, Dragonoid is winning because he has a higher B power. Now, this is a good chance for your opponent to be playing cards to modify his B power to try to beat you. Once both of you stop playing cards to modify B power, then the battle phase will end. The winner will be the highest B power, in this case will be Dragonoid. He will be the winner, he will stay open. And then the loser will be putting the Baku core back onto the Hide Matrix wherever they want. And they will be closing their Bakugan and putting it back onto the character card. So now that the battle phase has ended, now you're going onto the victor phase slash damage phase. This is where you look at the Victor, which is the Bakugan the one you look at the character card and you see how much damage you're gonna do in this case You're gonna be doing two damage 
now you get to play cards to modify the damage now you can see if you have any other cards that can do more damage so we have this fireball right so we will be playing we will be paying one energy flip the energy to the side that means you can no longer use this energy for the turn and it will add three attack power onto dragonoid for the turn so now he will be doing five damage in total and your opponent can play other cards to lower your damage as well so now we're going to be doing five damage let's just say that this deck is your opponent's so you will be doing one oh flip card so once you see a flip card that means you stop you look at the flip card you see uh in this case we got confused you get to stop stop a bakugan this means that you're gonna stop the attack holding a flame fist or a magic shield so our dragonoid has a magic shield as you can see meaning that your opponent can pay one energy to stop the attack we've only done one damage so he can pay one energy and the attack will stop this is why flip cards are very important to having your deck to be able to stop attacks especially when there's team attacks which i will explain after this when there's team attacks there's usually a lot of damage that's gonna go against you so if you have flip cards to stop the attacks they're very good so yeah keep that in mind okay so now if you've won for the third time meaning that this is going to be your third bakugan opened because the other two already stayed open since they won that means you're going to be doing a team attack so when you're going to deal damage you're going to have to add up all the damage from all of your three bakugan so in this case we have two damage for trucks plus two from the core that will be four now we have hydrus he has a four plus oh but he carried a helix so meaning that you're gonna get this effect as well so he's gonna get a plus an extra plus five so that will be nine plus whatever the course says so that will be which will make him 13 by himself so we have 13 we have four so that's 17 plus the dragonoid which is another two damage so that will be 19 damage so team attacks are very very good because you're going to be doing so much damage so in this case this team attack will be doing 19 damage so once you finish a team attack you will be putting all your bakugan into sphere forms and all of their baku cores will be going back into the hide matrix and when all the damage is dealt now you will be going into the end of turn phase this is where you get to spend your energy that you have left maybe to put some heroes down maybe to evo some of your bakugan and then once both of you are done is spending your remaining energy then the turn will end and the last thing you're gonna do in the end phase is recharge your energies so you can use them on the next turn again and then you get to draw a card again and the next turn will begin so how do you win so to win the game of bakugan you're gonna have to do an extra damage after your opponent's deck is in the discard so in this case Let's say Trox was attacking and this is your opponent's deck. So you will be doing two damage plus whatever's in the character card. So that's four damage. So your opponent has a little bit of cards and we have to do four damage. So let's say we do one, two, and he has no more cards and you still have two more damage to do. That means you won because he cannot take any more damage. He's done. So that's how you play Bakugan TCG. I try to make it very simple so you guys can understand, but if you still have any questions at all, make sure you leave it down in the comments. I will answer all the questions that I can. And uh, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned. And make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more Bakugan content. Thanks for watching and peace out.